guys and the Wiz back at it again for another video ho oh, ho I am super excited what we have for us today of course is the brand new Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora figure from the brand new line of figures known as Bring Arts from Square Enix themselves and what we're going to be doing is checking out the articulation the paint job the size comparison the good the bad all that great stuff right here right now so come on pal let's go all right let's get this video started so why don't we go ahead and start off with that good old-fashioned articulation so as of right now the head can move in a complete 360 degree spin such as so, can move a little bit to the right, can move a little bit to the left right over here, can look up about that far, and can look down about that far right over here. The head is easily removable, such as so, as you can see right over here. It kind of has like a peg connected to a ball joint right at the bottom right over here, but I do like the fact how easy it is to take off the head and put it back on. The arms are on the ball joint as well, so you can kind of bring them about this far up on both sides right over here, and the arm can go about this far up, and can go about this far back such as so you do have a single joint right over here on the wrist can kind of move a little bit back but you get like a basically a single joint moving forward the hands themselves can also move in a 360 degree spin and you do have some wrist articulation be able to bring the arms about in and out such as so right over here now the waist you actually kind of have a lot of movement with you can move it about this far to the right you can move it about this far to the left can go about this far forward and can go about that far back so yeah the waist joint is very flexible and that's mainly because right over here his pants are a piece of rubbery plastic material here so it doesn't really hinder the articulation too much and then if we go ahead and look at the legs right over here the legs are connected by a ball peg such as so they can stretch about this far forward can go about uh you just gotta be careful you just gotta watch out how you put the legs because sometimes the legs can c come on top of this part which means you can't really do any movements so you just gotta play with the legs a little bit like so but the legs can go about that far forward and can go about this far back so nice range of movements with the legs overall you do have I don't even know what to call this joint usually it'd be like a knee joint but you kind of have this bottom pants type of thing where you do have some nice movements as well you can bring it about this far back and you can't really bring it any more forward than what it already is now when it comes to the feet right over here you can move it to the right and can move it to the left as well and you're also able to bring the foot forward and back but for whatever reasons mine is very very stiff and I don't want to risk breaking is so I'm just gonna leave it as it is now the jacket right over here is made of a soft plasticky material and you actually might be able to take that off if you take out the arms I think it is possible to take off the jacket well I almost forgot to mention that you do kind of have a little uh, middle piece right over here when it comes to the waist as well so that's basically it for articulation what can I say it does a pretty good job overall so, so why don't we go ahead and check out some of Sora's accessories Alright, so one other cool accessory that Sora has is he actually comes with an extra face. I absolutely love the idea that they gave him an extra face. You know, those Play Arts Kai figures and all these other Kingdom Hearts figures, Sora usually has a kind of happy-go-lucky smile to him, but I'm super glad that they gave him a uh, somewhat kind of angry-looking face. I would have preferred a shouting face, but an angry face is a nice touch, so you know, you can have Sora being all happy, or you can kind of give him more of a serious pose, so boom, kudos to the extra face right over here. Sora also comes with two open hands, I guess, I don't know, to kind of like do a little wave, or maybe shake hands with somebody and the hands overall yeah they look pretty darn good the paint jobs a little bit messy but we'll talk about that later right over here so boom you get those two hands and of course you get Sora's guns right over here that being his new pistols from his Keyblade transformation and as you can clearly see he does have a hand to go ahead and hold that as well but if you go ahead and look at this mark right over here oh man the paint job on this figure man oh man is it not too good but we'll go ahead and talk about that later but as you can definitely see that it does have a nice paint to it, it overall it has a shiny look to it and it fits in pretty darn well looks pretty good so boom that's one of the guns that you have right over here and of course you have the second gun right over here looking pretty darn good as well shiny paint job I do like a little sparkle effect that it kind of has going on and you do have the chain right over here made out of a piece of plastic so boom you've got that and of course you've got another hand to hold this gun so yeah it looks pretty darn good and Sora comes with two open hands that's this one if you want to put another weapon or something and of course you have the other open hand right over here holding on to the keyblade and man this is a 
nice looking keyblade we still don't know the names of this keyblade but overall it has that shiny nice finish to it it looks pretty good the paint job is pretty sloppy though I'm not gonna lie I mean just look at that little gray mark that he has in his hand oh my god I don't know what it is with Sora and the bad paint jobs but man that is one thing to definitely look at but boom this keyblade is very nice and it does get the point across so boom you've got that right over there all right so now that we went ahead and saw the accessories it's time to go ahead and put some of the stuff on so again to switch out the heads it's simply as easy just pulling this head off and then going ahead and putting this head on right over here and boom it looks absolutely fantastic fits in really well with the figures now when it comes to the hands oh my god this is where the problems begin okay so as you can clearly see putting this hand on and off is pretty darn simple such as so plug it in plug it right out right over here and as you can clearly see it does have a very long peg right over here that's mainly because you know Sora's going to be holding on to a lot of heavy weapons and stuff so you do need a long peg to make sure that the stuff actually sticks in well so as you can clearly see these hands that he automatically comes with fits in really well but when it comes to swapping out the hands this is where the trouble begins so boom I'm gonna go ahead and swap this hand out and put on the one with the gun and as you can clearly see oh my god I'm having the same issues that I had with the play arts Kai figures that I'm having with this one and that is the fact that these flipping hands do not want to go in I mean if I press really really hard it will go in but I really don't want to risk damaging this piece right over here that kind of holds the whole you know joint together so what I have to kind of do is very gently kind of just lightly kind of turn it and squeeze it in there just so it can fit enough like as you can clearly see the hand is not all the way in there but it sticks in enough that the hand will not fall off unless I knock it into something so that's one issue that I kind of have with this sword figure that's one of my biggest problems it's the flipping hands it could just be my figure but you know I've seen a lot of people kind of have the same issue so boom that's one thing so if I go ahead and take this hand out like so and put on the hand with the keyblade and man oh man does this part piss me off as well I don't know why but this is literally the exact same thing with the play arts Kai figure the hand for the keyblade does not like to stick in all the way like see oh my god I hate this so much oh <laughs> why is it always me oh god so you know I just gotta kind of slightly get it in there all right boom I finally got it on I actually had to do this off camera but so as you can clearly see the hand with the keyblade is on but I will go ahead and and tell you that it is very out there it is not stuck all the way in because like I said I do want to swap these hands in and out and I don't want to go through the effort of you know trying to squeeze it all the way in and then take it all the way out and damaging the little peg piece right over there but the keyblade stays on fairly well even though it's not all the way attached into it so I'm kind of happy about that but as you can clearly see with this sword figure man you can do some really sick poses right over here that's what I absolutely love about this figure is how poseable it is you know with the legs and the waist join the head movement yeah you can definitely do some really cool things with this Sora it's just very unfortunate how this thing still has a lot of problems that the play arts Kai figure had one thing that you will note about this figure in the play arts Kai figure is that it doesn't have those like kind of squeaky cringy joints or whatever it's just normal uh, plastic joints right over here all right so here we are with that size comparison now and as you can clearly see we have Sora next to the Figma Elsa figure right over here and we have him next to the Figma Zelda <laughs> my boy Sora getting all the ladies right over here and as you can clearly see you know Sora is in scale and that's what I absolutely love about this Bring Art Sora figure is the fact that he is in scale with other figurines and oh my god it's just beautiful so boom we've got Sora next to Elsa and Zelda so why don't we go ahead and check out some other figures so now we have Sora next to the SH figure arts Naruto figure and Sora next to the SH figure arts Goku figure and man the fact that I have a Sora figure and it's in scale with Naruto and Goku oh my god I just I absolutely love this figure so boom that's those two guys right over here <laughs> my boy Sora and Naruto about to team up I absolutely love it and boom next up we have on the list is Sora next to my boy Figma Deku right over here from My Hero Academia and if you have not been watching My Hero Academia what the heck is wrong with you you really need to go ahead and watch that anime it's absolutely fantastic and we have him next to the SH figure arts real oh my god just having Deku and Sora next to each other in scale it's just I, I like I said before I absolutely love the way that this figure is in scale with all these other figurines all right now we have Sora next to the Marvel Marvel Legends Captain America figure and the DC Icons Wonder Woman figure. Now I'm not really sure if you can say that these are technically in scale. I mean sometimes if you compare Sora to characters like uh, Jack Sparrow, Sora is a lot smaller than them so maybe this scaling could work for you 
not 100% sure, but when it comes to the DC Icons Wonder Woman figure, I think it fits in scale pretty darn nicely because as we all know, Amazons are usually pretty tall people, so I think this kind of works out. And of course here we have the Bring Art Sora figure next to the very old school Play Art Sora figure and we have him next to the brand new uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Play Arts Kai figurine right over here. And as you can see this Sora is definitely smaller than all of them but I can definitely tell you this, this one is way better than that one. And, and as for these two, well you know it kind of depends. Like I said this one still has some of the same issues as this one but this one's a lot taller so you know you think the paint job would be better. But honestly I might even go as far as to say this paint job might be even worse on this one than it is on the small one which is a little bit weird because seeing as how this figure is like 150 bucks you'd think you'd be getting better quality compared to this figure which only costs like around $60 so you know there's that but why don't we go ahead and take an up close look at that real quick all right as you can clearly see we've got both Sora figures right over here but basically as you can tell like yeah you know they are basically almost kind of the same I feel as though the color right over here is a little bit more on darker side than this one the hair is definitely a lot lighter and brighter compared to the Bring Arts version, but the eyes and everything is basically the same. This face is kind of more of a plain neutral face as opposed to this face which has a little bit more life to it, but if you just look at the hair, this hair goes down further more than this one. So in some ways I like this Sora and in other ways I kind of like this Sora. They both have their advantages and disadvantages to each other, but like I said before, you know, this one's like 150 bucks and this one is $60, so it all depends on you. If you're like me and you have SH figure arts and Figma figures and you don't feel like spending that much money then I would say the bring arts version is definitely the one to go for plus it also comes with an angry face so there you go or if you like giant like statue things that you just want to keep in a shelf somewhere and never have it be touched or whatever sure why not I guess you can go ahead and spend the money on the play arts Kai version but as for me personally I definitely have to go with this one just because like I said before this one is in scale with so many other figurines that I just like it that much more compared to this one also something that I almost forgot to mention is the fact that the bring arts Sora does come with this really Really awesome Kingdom Hearts base right over here so you can go ahead and display the Play Arts Kai figure again which costs like about 150 bucks we had a base that came with it as well except it was just a like plain circle so you know again uh, that's kind of weird so for 60 bucks you also get a better looking base but the thing about this one though is you know you have the stick right over here that you simply go ahead and insert it such as so and of course you would wrap the figure around with these little claw pieces right over here it does come with another set of claws in case like I guess you end up breaking one but here's the problem with mine. I can't bend this thing whatsoever. I don't know if I'm supposed to unscrew this piece and then just like, you know, move it the way I want it because it has these little like teeth mark joints right over here. So if I bend it, this thing is going to snap in half. So yeah, I don't really know what's up with that. I'm going to have to go ahead and fix it. So yeah, that's a little project that I have to do. I'll keep you updated on my Instagram channel if you want to know what goes down with this thing. So boom, another cool little piece that they included. So overall with this figure, what can I say? I am pretty darn pleased with it. You know, we weren't too sure what we we're going to be expecting since this is a brand new line of figurines right over here. But I gotta say, I am pretty impressed with this Bring Art Sora figure right over here. The articulation, the accessories, everything is pretty darn awesome. If this figure does well, you know, I hope they make some more Final Fantasy characters. You know, give me a Cloud, give me Sephiroth, give me Lightning. Of course, give me some more Kingdom Hearts character. Having them in scale like this Sora would be simply amazing. Again, because I could take photos of them with other figurines that we have. So what can I say if you do not own a Kingdom Hearts figure whatsoever I would definitely go ahead and get this one. It, it takes up less space to get all the weapons that the Play Arts Kai version has. So guys that's basically it for this video. So what I want to know in the comment section below is what do you think of the Bring Art Sword figure? Are you going to go ahead and pick one up? And if you can have any I guess Square Enix type of Final Fantasy slash Kingdom Hearts character become a Bring Arts figure who would you want it to be? So leave all your comments in the comment section below and if you like this video of course make sure to give it a big thumbs up as that really helps me out and until next time guys I'm gonna go ahead and say bye pal who will see you real soon <laughs>